Okay, someone asked about um, what happens when they come here, this when in Rome. Well, this goes further. This goes into um, the method of negotiation, the method of under undertaking business, right? Many people say, okay, when we're over there, we should adapt to their way of doing things, and when they're over here, they should adapt to our way of doing things. The better research indicates that um, what you should be doing is making an assessment of who actually has an understanding of the other's culture. All right? So if I understand your culture, you don't understand mine, I should really adapt to yours. Because what you're after is the most efficient dealings, the most efficient communication. So it's a question mark. Yeah? Do not think that just because they're coming over here that they should have to bend. Right? What's going to work best is really the, the key issue. Property rights in China, I've only got a few more to go, uh, Olga. Um, a big issue, yeah? Even the local Chinese are actually having problems with this. They had 70 year leases on their, um, on their properties, on their residentials, right? And some of those are actually starting to come to an end. And there's no guarantee that they'll actually be renewed. They really don't know what's going to happen. For you as an individual or a foreigner, um, it's even worse. IT protection, if you've got sensitive IP, something that um, can be used against you and ripped off, don't take it there. Right? I talk to Chinese business people over there about friends of mine that have done this, that and the other, and they just can't believe it. They just go, you're kidding. Why did they come here with that? You need to work out ways of protecting it. It's not strong um, even for Chinese. Bribery and corruption, we talked um, a little bit about it. Over there, it's part of life. Yeah. Now, how you deal with that is very, very important because there's been some major changes to the um, legislation internationally relating to um, bribery and corruption, and Australia is a signatory of the, um, of the OECD Convention and a few others, yeah? Um, I can just finish off by giving you an, a slide. China, this is from the um, Corruption Perception Index from um, Transparency International, is not the worst. Okay, so there's a lot of other countries that are um, much worse than China in terms of um, corruption. And it become, it's becoming a major issue socially over there. So it's something you can expect changes to occur on. Yeah. Yes, yes, Australia's up here very high, which is good. But if you look at that, just to finish off, all the countries that are doing um, really well are all small countries. You look at these, Finland and Denmark, every year they win. New Zealand is up there as well. But these are all very small countries. We're the first medium-sized country, if you like, but we're really small. Um, if you look at big countries, it's very, very hard to, um, uh, to deal with this.